Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mag Daddy 1911 A1 Shade Tree Survivalist. I'm going to use one or two of the other tools I had just to prove that they can be used in a situation like this versus a reciprocating saw or a saw. Uh, a lot of folks just don't have that kind of stuff, and we're going to show them how they can use the tools they have handy to do this type of work. I'm going to use my little old razor knife here. Just because somebody out there say, oh, you lying thing, you didn't try that out and prove it would work. Like I said, I've never cut anything quite this thick with a razor knife, but I've cut all kinds of things with them, and I believe it'll do the job. Therefore, I'm here to tell you I'm going to try it out and prove it. I'm going to uh, start a hole with the screwdriver. Just about everybody has a screwdriver. Even women keep screwdrivers handy. through. It broke. Oh well. Like I said in my other video, the other two videos, this would be a slow way to do it. Can it be done? Absolutely. Can you hit your thumb and knock it off? Absolutely. Uh, maybe your best bat punch holes every so often. And then uh, go back and just knock it out the hammer. I'm gonna give it a shot and see what she says. Here went the piece of blade I broke. It's really, if you live near the coast or a place that is prone to severe flooding, you need to think about this kind of stuff ahead of time. If you are in danger of, of uh, being overwhelmed by the water, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gents, this is the way it works. You're responsible for yourself. You're waiting on the government to come save you. You're in deep crap. And that's all there is to it. You're wasting your damn time because they have thousands of people they may be responsible for. Or you may be in a situation where you're just not that close to uh, an area where they can come and rescue you. All right, let's give this little saw again. I know the world because that damn thing there, I done popped the thumb a couple times. Now it's getting old. Uh, I would not want to be living in a house and I put the wrong zone and only have something like this. Here to tell you. doable folks but it's slow my advice battery operated drill battery operated reciprocating saw or a freaking chainsaw a uh, chainsaw you ain't even gotta start a hole you just stick it up there and jug that baby in it it'll go through it like crap through a goose and don't do a battery operated I mean a uh, power cord I mean if you got a cord on it you know the power that's gonna be knocked out right off the bat just from the high winds so Definitely go with a battery operated saw. But like I said, prepare ahead of time. And uh, just be careful. Think about it. Wargame it in your head what might, ha what might happen. 
And what she shows where the survivors are talking about how they survived, that'll, that'll get you just, I mean, further than anything. They may tell you something you never thought of. Anywho, this is Mag Daddy 1911A1 with Shade Tree Survivalists. This is part three of surviving a flash flood. Y'all have a good day and thank you for watching.